on this setup I have a a little bit of it problems because of the draft angle on this base here on the top I don't want to machine that top but the, I've machined the bottom and so I want to hold it as a reference as the base so I can work on this end and what I did is I used my nice uh, machine jacks from the boys up in Canada these are really nice and they supplied a top piece to it with a divot in it and a v-groove but, but a divot is for a ball bearing and so I have a ball bearing in there and I was able to adjust them differently to press against here so I have even pressure holding it tight against there with the then with then clamped of course with the jaw of the chuck but since they're not even surfaces I was able to adjust these so I could clamp pretty evenly and keep it square. Then I used a dial indicator to dial in uh, the angle here so it's flat. And uh, we're, then, I, then I used the edge finder for the back edge reference and this side is the reference side so I went with that and down and then the reference side from here. So we're in our location for the first hole. And I'm going to drill these for quart, drill and tap this a quarter 28. Uh, and then I'm going to make my own little fittings that will screw in there. I have to drill uh, one and three eighths down. We're down to, been down in there. It has to go far enough for the port on the other side of the shaft. Now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tap it a little ways down there. Now for the counter bore on this face and it's seven hundred point seven in diameter an eighth inch deep and that's for screw clearance uh, the screw head clearance I should say uh, for the mounting of the cylinder boring the head back in and I never I didn't change my setting so I should put a 0.7 uh, circle hole in there get rid of the little burr that's on there while we're on this side. Oh, a little, little heavy, but that's all right. There's gonna be a thin plastic or Teflon washer that sits against here. Now I'm gonna do a spot drill with a small center drill, just like I did before uh, with the port, where the ports go. Now these ports will be 30 degrees this way and that way. Turned it, put it up on a 30 degree angle block down here, and lightly clamped it. It's pretty, I mean, it's solid, but it's lightly clamped. It's not, you know, anyway. <laughs> uh, and I just put my scriber in there as a pointer. It's dead center on our bottom mark here. We're going to do it just like I did before with the end mills.
we uh, should be all finished with this base. I'll take it over, I'll, I'll clean all this off, all the uh, die come in. We can take a look at it. Let's take a little look at this. This, this base is done. I think it came out pretty good, pretty happy with it. You can see there. Now, I mean, you know, I, I said I adjusted the where these bores are, and then I had to adjust a couple uh, little other things on the engine so they could be pretty much in the center of these bosses. And I measured on this side. Uh, this one is, looks really good. This one's uh, maybe a little on the bottom, lower side of it, but not, not much. And uh, this side's pretty good. It's a little off to this side here. And then, of course, this side was a flat surface, so it didn't really have anything to line up on. But the porting came out really good. The right came out perfect into the ports here, which extend all the way down through here. Uh, so those, those all came out just right. And uh, I think their placement looks really good. I, I didn't double check them yet, but uh, they look really good. So I'm really happy with how this all, this little base came out so far. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to get on to the next one, the next base, and uh, get it done. So uh, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It really helps. And uh, we'll have more, more model making uh, content going. There's the piston. Oh, here's the piston, yeah. This piston will be on here. Like that. And it's going to work like that. Alrighty, guys. Let's go.